<laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. Laquisha. I, yeah. Like, I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't Night Riders. Nah. Wow. Me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown like that. We ain't Night Riders. Now, Fresh, I don't know if your black ass has to look in the mirror, but nigga, you blacker than black. The fact that you sitting there on your psychic ass and had this, oh, I'm finna say something crazy. Have this man talk about women who look like your sister, who look like your mother, cause you black, so I know your mother dark skin. Before this video goes any further, I want you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you leave a comment. I'm actually trying to rebrand the channel, so the more interaction you have with this video, especially subscribing and hitting that notification bell, it'll actually do very well. I'm not a fan of the Fresh and Fit podcast simply because I'm married, okay? They don't make videos for me. They make videos for dudes who sit in the computer and beat their meat to Instagram all day. You feel me? Dudes who DM Instagram models and get left on red and get in their feelings. They can go on this channel, they can look at this podcast and see these bitches who only value their looks get put in their place. And treated like ish. You feel me? But apparently, Asian Doll was on the Fresh and Fit podcast, which is interesting to me. And her and Myron got into it. Guys, like, guys, those guys, 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 sidebar, all. sidebar conversations, please. All right. What about I've you? told you this is like you know this is like the uh, fifth time I've told you that, right? Yeah, Sixth time. Like I'm stop. Sorry. For real, like stop. Hey, man. It's you haven't cool. been here. Yeah, it's the whole show. Come yeah, she's been we doing got, it the whole show. You. I'm not mean as fuck. I just have rules. Simple. All right, go ahead. It's podcast. I'm not going to lie. Myron give me his chastness tendencies. Now, the reason I say that, right? You know, certain people who feel as though they're always right. Everything has to be in their favor. If it's not, then it's a problem and they make everybody in the room uncomfortable. He give me that type of vibe. I can see if. He's the one that recruit the girls to come on the show. A lot of the girls that come on that show, they're not very bright. So this gives him, he's at an advantage because he's smart. He's a smart guy. So you put a smart guy in a room with a, uh, a room full of idiots, of course, you look like a superhero. Damn. Wow. Um, what I look for in a man of love, that's like a porching me. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. If I'm a guest on the show, and I guess I'm doing something that's not protocol and he hit that sound effect on me that like i'd be mad too that that'll set me off i could see that set her off i'm not sure if that's what set her off but if that's what set her off that would have set me off too the f you hitting sound effects on me for you mean i'm not mean at all okay i don't care have you been here the whole time no all right then so you don't know what was happening right okay then so how are you gonna come on somebody's show, not know what go down, and say, "Oh, you're mean"? It don't matter. I can say what I want. Okay, Just well, you can get the fuck off the show too. I don't man, get off the show too. Man. Since I don't really watch the show like this, right? I would like for somebody in YouTube land to send me a clip of one of these Instagram models on a panel actually flirting with Myron. You feel me? Like giving Myron choosing signals. Now, I would say both of them, but Fresh got exposed for having his girl on there. We're not gonna talk about Fresh. Because I don't think from all the clips that I've seen, any of the girls are actually, like, feeling Myron. Based on the fact, like, I don't see how you can give, you know, alpha male advice and be in a room full of women and they're not choosing you since you are alpha. Does that make any sense? I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Please send me a clip. I want to see a clip. Because this is dude I be watching. He got, I forgot his name, but he got this, this his his whole thing is called the dojo. You feel me? And he really be showing how to talk to women. He don't be simping. He don't be doing none of that. It's just a, for pure energy. And based on the energy I'm getting from these dudes, if y'all ain't had this podcast, and you know, maybe y'all got bread. If y'all ain't had bread, y'all wouldn't get no bitches. Y'all wouldn't get no bitches, man. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm about to shit. I say you mean. It is what it is. What the fuck you want me to say? That's you, not the truth, mean, though. You mad about I said mean? You grown as hell. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Facts. You a grown ass man and you mad. It looked like she was smiling at first when she said it. Like, damn, bro, you mean. Like, I right, just relax. Like, all right, I got you. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It didn't seem like as though she was being, she was being, um, I guess rebellious. It didn't seem as though she was being rebellious at first until, like, he kept on going. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was one of those, like, he was throwing a fit, kind of. 
So that's why. Okay, but I said he mean. He why he want to er, stop the shit. <laughs> Well, do some dramatic because you don't know what was going on. We are it's good it's though, bro. Hey, bro. Why would yo, they piss you off. Chill, yeah, bro. It's no, all right, we all right, we good. He no, want a I moment. Mean, Get us slow. We good. Let's keep going, bro. We all I right. I want to leave. Yo, he mad though, gangster. Like you could see that his face. Like she shut his ass down. <laughs> she shut him down, bro. From all the little highlights I be seeing, I ain't never really watched a show like that. But from this is the first time I actually seen her, him get shut down. She shut him down, son. Part. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy pop for tomorrow morning. Messed up. I need I'm one. Then me me or send it to me via Uber Eats. Thanks. Bye. Oh, we got Dixie Normus. Thank you. Ten bucks says, "Girl, like two it from Myron is fresh, you know." Okay. You we got um, DJ says, <laughs> "Dan, when Asian all sat down, <laughs> she made all the other girls look busted." Thank you. you up? He left before she left. He left because she she shut his ass down. Out of all the videos I've seen on on Facebook. Of like him talking to females crazy. This is the first time I've actually seen him quiet. The, what she said made so much sense that he had no rebuttal for it. Like, how can you get that upset because she said you're mean? And then the way she said it, it wasn't like she was like, "Yo, why you being mean?" It wasn't one of those. It was like, "Damn, bro, like you mean? Like, huh? okay, I got you." It's a clip where he was just like, "Like, who is she? You feel me?" Like, I don't know her. You're lying. You know who she is, my boy. Don't do that. She wouldn't be on that podcast if you didn't know who she is. You're very meticulous. They said you was a what? A, a former federal agent, which means to me that you do your research before you bring people on that podcast. And you knew who Asian Doll was. Let's not let's not cap, okay? Let us not cap. Back then, app called Black. <laughs> oh, I, it's funny. I never used that one, bro, but oh, hey, man. man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't Night Riders. Nah. Wow. Me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown like that. We ain't Night Riders. Now, Fresh, I don't know if your black ass has to look in the mirror, but, nigga, you blacker than black. The fact that you sitting there on your psychic ass and had this... Oh, I'm finna say something crazy. Have this man... Talk about women who look like your sister, who look like your mother, because you black, so I know your mother dark skin, who look like your aunties and your grandmother. Saying we we not down with the with the with the with the brown. We not night riders. With a smile on your face. That showed me you were psychic. You were psychic, man. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're you know red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark. If you know what I'm saying. Yep. Like, how do you have him talking for you? Me and Fresh don't dabble in the dark. He's talking for you. Um. Uh, okay. So last one, guys. Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Just just keeping it real. I don't really date black girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because like no no like like most black girls are like. Are no you know where this is finna go. Typical, typical shit. Like when dudes say, "Yo, you know, you pretty for a dark skin girl." That's what that's about to go. Knowing how to put this uh, ratchet, and they don't know how to like be Carry reserved. Themselves. You're like the complete opposite. You so are not the stereotype. You, you are not, not the stereotype. You are not the same. That's Aww. awesome. So, yeah. So I will give you that compliment. That's not, that's not a compliment. That's not a compliment. What's your, what's your Instagram? Um, it's Crystal Fit. That's not a compliment, bro. Telling telling a telling a, a, a dark skin girl that, oh, you're you're pretty for a dark skin girl, or you know, you 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 don't fit the norm of being ratchet and loud and all that, like most dark skinned women. That's not a compliment, bro. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm I'm really not a fan of this podcast. And that and just because of, of that. Like the, I'm telling y'all, the information is cool, but the information is diluted because it's not coming from a good place. These cannot tell you or show you how to keep a woman. They're showing you how to deal with idiots. You feel me? There's another video that was posted on Twitter, right? Where Asian Doll, is Asian Doll actually reposted it. And it was a video where Myron was talking about if a chick come to your house and she don't want to give you the box, you go to the other room and act like, you, you call another girl 
They come over there and kick her out. That's, that's, I'm a grown ass man. That's little boy behavior. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you're coming to my house, it's established. I'm going to test the waters to, to establish what are we going to do. I'm telling y'all, man, like, these dudes make videos for guys who sit there and beat their meat to Instagram models all day. You feel me? Like, guys who DM Instagram models and get left on red and be in their feelings. They need... They need this. And I see a lot of people talking about, oh, cancel them. Cancel them. They're not going to get canceled because they go, they do exactly what it's, what's needed. They do exactly what's needed to be successful on YouTube. They bring you drama and you just how I'm making videos about them. Other people are going to make videos about them also. And those videos are going to make them more popular. My thing is to really, to really show the flaws in their content, man. Their content is flawed. It's, some of it is good advice, but it's not coming from a good place. It's it's diluted. It's diluted. Like, I want to see y'all have a round table full of chicks who have stuff to offer. 